Okay, let's get started. Your kids have all come in, they've sat down, they've logged on and they're doing the typing. Time for you to sit down and log on. Go to the teacher icon, the little light bulb there, open that up. You'll see there's a start icon here for net support. Open that up there, put in the password. Okay. And what happens automatically is this program net support scans all the computers in the lab, finds who's on, connects to them, and puts them in this list here. So take a few moments, here it comes, it's finding every single machine in the lab, there they all are. Now a lot of these are not on and unplugged. If I want to see the screens, simply go to one of the student machines, there they are. To make them fit, come down to the bottom here, fit to the window, and you should see all your students working here, working hard, doing their typing. Oh, look at this. Somebody's not quite on task. Put the mouse over a screen you want to look at. There it is. Doing some Baywatch. There. I can block all the internet access by coming up here. Click block. Students are now blocked and they can't go on the internet. Somebody's disconnected. There we go, they're locked. You can unlock them by clicking that icon again. So you can very simply monitor who's doing what from the comfort of your own chair. So, net support's running, you're logged on. You can see all the students in front of you here, all their screens, and you notice, oh, little Johnny over here or Jennifer is doing something they shouldn't be. You can quite simply block all the internet with this button up here. It blocks everything, so no one here can use any internet options. They can still use the normal programs, but if they try and go on the internet, they will see that, and so will you. I can unblock that. The other useful feature is the lock feature. If you need to get the kids' attention, and they're not always paying attention when you're talking, they're busy working, you can simply come up here and lock the screen. All the screens are now locked. You see this icon. Keyboard doesn't work, mouse doesn't work. They've got no choice but to listen to you and your words of wisdom. You can very simply unlock by here. If you double click on a screen you want to look at, here it comes, oh dear, look at that. double click on a screen you want to look at, you can actually take control of that kid's computer now. I can go back on pages, I can go forward on pages, I can even shut their machine down should I want to. So if there's someone struggling, you can go in there, you can take control of their computer and you can actually make it do things for them. Make sure you close it when you finish. So the students are working hard, you've got net support up and running and they're all logged in. What can you do with it? One of the most useful features to net support is you can keep them safe when they're using the internet by simply restricting the sites that they can go to. And that's done from over here, little picture of the globe, click on that. And right down here you'll find a list of all the websites that they're allowed to go to. And I've chosen these websites and you can very easily add to a website clicking the plus button and put in the URL www.playboy.com click OK and that will add it to that site so they can go to discovery you've got Google there be careful Google images Wikipedia it's full of lies blogs and you can add to any website that you think that they should be looking at but they can't follow any links and go off, so it's fairly safe. Obviously, there's no substitute to you walking around the classroom, but you can see what's going on in case they're quickly flipping between screens. Looking back at what the students are up to, if you see a student who needs help or you want to 
show kids an example of good work, simply select that screen, come up to the show menu, click and exhibit to the class. Exhibit to the whole class. If somebody's working busily, you can just unclick them from here. Exhibit. And the whole class now sees that same screen. And you can show them what they're doing. When you're finished, simply go to the box and finish the show. They can carry on with the work. Again, you can lock the screens for their attention. Obviously, remember to unlock them. There we go. You can also show them your own screen. This is really useful when you're starting a new project. Simply make sure nothing's selected here. Go to the Show menu. Show your own screen to the students. So they've just finished the typing. You want to show them what to do next. Show your screen to the students. Show it to everybody. That's my screen right now. Okay, kids, so now we're going to go to the handout folder and they can watch what you do. You go to teachers, go to Mr. G and there you have your book report assignments. Open that and off you go. So you can very quickly demonstrate to the kids what they're doing. When you've finished, come back down here. Remember, right click, right click, end show. Otherwise they'll be sitting there looking at your screen basically all you need to know. These buttons here are your most important features, the lock, the unlock and the block in the internet. Show menu so you can exhibit your own screen or you can highlight a screen and exhibit that to the kids. And Finally, if you're feeling like you want to be all powerful, communicate. You can send a message to every machine here. Time to log off. And you send that message, every computer gets that pop-up on their screen and they have to click OK before they can continue.